Welcome back to another episode of What's Glitching in the Kitchen. I'm your boy NWP, and we're back at it once again with some X Defiant news regarding the upcoming first season. And with 27 days remaining in the preseason, I think it's time we take a look at what's going to be coming. But next week, we've got a fairly substantial update. And according to Mark Rubin over on Twitter, it will be addressing some of the major concerns with Sniper Flinch, Bunny Hopping, and the Crazy Screen Shake all being updated in this upcoming patch. On top of that, there will be some netcode and hit registration changes that will likely improve the experience for all of us in the community at least a little bit. Hopefully, we'll still be doing a bit more work before Season 1 comes out and the inevitable release of what is argued to be one of the best features that they've confirmed with mark rubin also confirming a call of duty prestige system and not just any prestige system but the old school prestige setup that we would remember racing to that grandmaster prestige but of course we did see some leaks that did show off some interesting badges that could be for ranked or it could be for the upcoming prestige system in season one but season one seems to have an interesting theme as we'll be getting the Accuracy International Arctic Warfare Police Edition as well as the LVOAC, which both of these weapons are in fact police variant weapons and one of them being the AR-15 for low visibility operation applications and of course the police setup of the L-115. Now, this has some major connotations to it because we have been seeing a lot of leaks regarding the upcoming season. And the information that we have at this point says that we will, in fact, be seeing the GSG-9 from Rainbow Six Siege. And it does seem that we will only be getting one of the actual GSG-9 Rainbow Six Siege operators in the actual faction, with Jaeger at least being in the game files. But it does look like we'll be getting some unique characters to X Defiant as well. But with this police theme and the GSG-9 coming in, which they are in fact the German special police, kind of makes sense and uh, can kind of give us a hint of where we're going to be seeing them go with the upcoming developments in the future. Now, we do know Ranked will be popping up in Season 1 as well, and the trial run is available now so you can get an idea of where they're going with that and if you haven't go ahead and hop in game and check it out and if you're on the fence of whether or not you want to download x defiant guys it is a free-to-play game with absolutely no incentive to spend any money if you don't want any particular skin so if you don't want any skins and you want to earn your gold skins and level up and enjoy the already two weeks in the bag with two events already each weekend it's kind of a, a no-brainer to check it out for yourself, especially if you're an old-school Call of Duty fan like myself. I love Call of Duty from the old days where the movement was just a little bit different than it is today. It was a more responsive, a little bit snappier, and you didn't have to do all sorts of weird gimmicks to move faster. You just move maximum speed. So I prefer that. I prefer the cleanness of it, but of course, Things like the ability to redirect momentum in air are brand new to X Defiant and they add a depth to the combat that you could never get in any single Call of Duty. But guys, I know I've talked about a bunch of stuff already in the videos and if you actually enjoyed the video and the channel and the content that I've been giving you over the last couple weeks, then how about helping me out by taking the time right now to like this video. If you're new, smash down the subscribe button with the notification bell so that you can get alerted anytime that I drop a new video. Okay. Do it. Mm -hmm. Do it. Now we do know a little bit more about the upcoming season and the content at least expected to release because of the game files as well as some information we have gotten from people like Mark Rubin. But there are some files that do seem to suggest quite a few game modes will be coming in the future and it does look like at least preliminarily speaking we do have tdm team elimination ctf and upload scheduled for season one how they release in season one is going to be up for debate they could trickle in one by one or they could in fact be released all at once in one major bulk update i don't think that would be the necessary way to go for maximum entertainment and or content 
or the actual community i think they should trickle them in and maybe launch them in a few week intervals something like that don't just bombard us with a bunch of game modes to try out all at once on you know a brand new season launch give us one brand new game mode especially the fact that we have ranked popping up as well as likely a brand new prestige system there is a lot that we're going to be already overwhelmed with and getting our hands on and on top of that we're getting several new weapons so i really think that they're likely going to trickle the game modes in one by one over a period of time and i do kind of have some questions myself as to what upload is going to be i'm not sure what that game mode could be i have some ideas because there's definitely those data hack type of game modes we've seen where you gotta go somewhere reach the you know infrastructure get the information and then extract it to elsewhere or it could be their rename of uplink which is just really a basketball variant of capture the flag so who knows where they're going with that but looking at everything they've done with rainbow six siege and what we can expect from ubisoft in terms of taking care of their game and just the efforts that they will go to to make sure that their game is doing well I think we have something very promising here with X Defiant, but of course that's neither here nor there. The only thing that really matters is how you guys are enjoying the game and with an upcoming season and already a ton of content that we've gotten for the first two weeks of X Defiant, there's definitely some questions that we've got to ask the community. And I'd like to know how you feel about X Defiant in its current form. So leave a comment down below and let me know exactly what your opinion is regarding X Defiant and the upcoming content that we're expected to see. Me personally, I think we're seeing some fairly interesting stuff popping up. It does look like we will have some bonus features as well as some stuff that's hidden from us, maybe not even in the game files yet. So I think we're gonna be quite pleasantly surprised with the upcoming season. But guys, if you wanna help me out in an absolutely massive way, check out the end of the video and the rest of this gameplay while not super impressive i did get cock blocked just shy of 80 kills which is uh you know my current record in the actual release of x defiant i was able to get like 85 kills i think it was actually 84 kills in some of the test versions of x defiant previously but i was not able to get anywhere near this high so far i'm capping out at like 62 kills and getting like stumped at the 60s tops for the last two weeks it felt good to get close to 80 but uh yeah about to wrap the video up here enjoy the rest of the gameplay hopefully you're getting a little bit more excited for season one but thanks for watching guys thanks for liking thanks for subscribing and don't forget you won't be able to enjoy any of the upcoming content x defiant if you don't stay safe stay healthy and as always have a good one. The zone's in
Locking down the zone. down the zone. Zone contested. Revenge kill. A zone under attack. like you've done this before. What's next? A ticker tape parade? The Brassies love that. 